Everything looks like it's made of gold. I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. I held Jihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. I don't care who Chihiro says she is, she's still family. <coughs> Takatoshi-san. You actually showed up? That sentinel belongs to us, doesn't it? Why wouldn't I show up? <sighs> so that's where it is, huh? Yeah, the sentinel's inside that building. Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon, all this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. Takatoshi-san. If anything happens to me, could you look after Chihiro? Don't be stupid! <sighs> Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. And if it ever looks grim, I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. <sighs> now don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. <sighs> All right. Let's go. We're taking back our Sentinel. That's what I want to hear. There it is, just how I remember it. Freeze! Another one? He's still alive. I'm using low power shots, but still, feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. I want to thank you. Takatoshi-san, I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. It's still a little too early to be thanking me. Right. Natsuno-san's already out there fighting. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all right? I'll catch up to you soon. BJ, a different me from a different time. According to him, I should be able to activate the Sentinel now. the final battle. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Will you answer it for me? <laughs> Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. Um... Mr. Ida, I want... The investigation unit 
is watching us. As it stands, we are already an unofficial organization. It is not wise for us to stand out any more than we already do. I have told you this before. I will contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Wait, Mr. Ida. Well, I just... I will contact you with fur... Is that... Wait, well... Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher, he's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Is it just me? Or does she know me sound a lot like Iori? Is that a coincidence? Or is she another clone of Morimura? Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shino no Mekun. It is true you are quite... Your intelligence and adaptability are above average, and your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore, their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko-senpai? Sekigahara-kun. Stop, Akun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai... That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait! I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. If it weren't for the fact that I've already seen a log of 2188 Shinonomi, I honestly would have thought she was a clone of Iori. Come on, Chihiro has like two, three clones running around. Would it really be the weirdest thing that this game throws out? Especially at this point. Wait, I'm in too. You will fight as well. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko Senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. Oh, they, there's gold. Area B2. Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7. 23 remain in the seventh wave. Number 14 has secured a path. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonomekun, pull back. Number 14. Number 17. No response. Miss Morimura, something's wrong. Ah, no there we go. Either. The system's being attacked. From where? 
through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara-kun? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. transmitted. Number 14 has completed transmission. No response from the others. How did this happen? The kaiju are almost here. We need to go. We can figure out the reason afterward. I was able to access the autonomous type number 8. We can buy time with that. You two, head for the gate. Ida-kun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. This must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. Mr. Ida, he stayed on the battlefield to the very end, all so we could escape. <sighs> A gun made in the 21... If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. There's still some ammo left. <gasps> Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eisaki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... you're still going on about Ida? We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it! The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. <sighs> oh, damn! That's actually a very good... That's actually a really good system! 
That's actually a really good lock mechanism to have on a gun. Huh. I kind of wish that were real, because then it would be really difficult for people to just use guns whenever they want. Or at least steal guns from other people. Or even, it also gets rid of the problem of if the gun falls into the hands of someone who isn't a registered user. It also would make it easier to track crimes, to be fair. I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. Easy, take your time. Do you know where you are? Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. Why did everything just randomly get darker and also started sounding more robotic? This should make me feel a little better. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. Well, that was odd. I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. The coordinates for ship are set in 40 year interval, so we can. These pills are hard to swallow, but it's the only way these headaches will go away. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world, but they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. Are you alright? Who are you? Miss hmm. Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> it's a pleasure to be working with you. It's a pleasure to be work. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. It's him. It has to be. 426. The one that set up the gates in the first place. So we're stuck here? In the past? It's only a matter of time before 426 makes contact with someone. I need the list of those who are compatible. Of course, that includes the people of this era too. I'll see what I can do. There's no other option. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything we imagined. <sighs> or would you rather... I go ask the students, one by one. Fine. The file is on my desk. It isn't everyone, but it does list those who are compatible at the school. I'll fix it as soon as I can. If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. The source of the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. Humans with the capacity to pilot the Sentinels. They have already been identified in the future. So 
So this is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Four girls, including myself. Wait, only girls? Fuyusaka and Kisaragi. Yakushiji and 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. Fuyusaka and Yakushi. All of the compatible... We're counting on you. These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. We're count... Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder, why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? The fate of the world is at stake. Even so, I sense your hatred stems from something else. <laughs> the reason for your animos... I would like to hear about... I don't have the list. Therefore, Renya Goto has the information I need. Because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. That thing deserves no sympathy. 426 is not human. He's an AI created in the future. And now, he calls himself A. Sekigahara. Hmm. A picture of 426. He calls himself A. Sekigahara now. But he's gone into hiding. The one that ruined the Sentinels. The disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. I don't have the list. Renya go... Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. Or maybe he already has. According to the clock on the wall, it is time for lunch. They should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. looking for you. Fuyusaka Yakushi... No, I need to focus... That's Shu Amiguchi. He's one of them. Did... <sighs> I have a question for you. Have you seen someone that looks like this? Hmm... No? Never seen him. I see. Oh! Ah, jeez. Were you able to get your bread? You need my help with anything? <sighs> About last time, I wasn't able to do anything then. But I want to make up for it. You did try, and I'm grateful to you for that. Where are you going? Would you quit talking to me in front of other people? What is this strange feeling? When I see him talking to another girl, my chest feels so tight. It feels like I'm jealous. No. About him? That's ridiculous. There's no way. <laughs> my head. It hurts. Shu Amiguchi. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like I'm in love with him. Now what? Now what? I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. This should make me feel a little better. Fuyusaka and Yakushi, the first year... Now what? Doesn't look like I can push my way through. Where are you going? Time to find the compatible girls. Where are the compatible ones? I should look at the pictures in their files. I don't see 
see them. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like that. My job is to help you. Doesn't seem likely. Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far, so I can better assist you? Tell me, Kisaragi. Kisaragi-san, can I talk to you? <gasps> Goto-senpai! Is there something I can help you with? Anything at all? Yeah. Do you like sweets, senpai? Oh, no. Well, what sort of women do you like? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not say. Well, you have to give me what go credit. She's grabbing the bull by its horns. Do you like sweets, senpai? Oh, no. Well, have you seen this person like? before? No. I... What do you do on your day? My head. I'd rather not say. It hurts. Do you like sweets, senpai? No, oh, no. Well, what sort of women do you like? Uh, well... This should make me feel... I... These pills, but it's senpai. the only way to... I'd... He calls himself a sec If I show his picture, maybe I can figure out who he came into contact with. What sort of women do you like? Hey, what's going on? Why are you doing this? You need to run. What's going on? Did something happen? No, all good. Come on, Mibuko, let's go. Where are we going? Excuse me, what? Run away? Why do I need to run? What are you staring at me for? You probably think I look awful. That is true. Those injured, frail arms. To think they could produce such raw power, it's hard to comprehend. You saw that? The last battle. I was assisting Miss Morimura. Now what? Megumi Yakushiji. <laughs> My head, it hurts. Not gonna lie, I'm curious what's gonna happen if I just leave leave it be. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? What is it? What is it? Does it change anything? Ah, Verdamont. No, it does Where not. Compatible one? Oh, no. What sort of women do you like? Have you seen this before? Well, I. Hey, what's going on? Why are you doing this? You need to run. What's going on? It's. No. Come on, Mibuko. Let's go. Run away. Why do he calls if I maybe I make me Yakushiji san? Can I talk to Have you seen this person be that's four two six, isn't it? You know him? I mean, I've heard about him enough times by now. So Morimura told you. You know, the way you're acting, it's going to be difficult for you to pilot number 14. Number 14? <laughs> My head, it hurts. Number 14, number 14 is my sentinel.
This is number 14. The one you piloted. I'm glad we were able to recover it. Even in Shikishima's largest hangar, it was barely able to fit. Transporting it here was quite the challenge as well. But now, including number 14 here, we've been able to recover three Sentinels after the incident. Unfortunately, the new models are all still missing. We also have yet to find number 12. And Okinokun, too. So are the Sentinels fixed? With the systems infected as they are, repairing them will be no easy task. And now that he's taken control of the Sentinels... So unless we capture 426, we won't be able to use the Sentinels. What's her deal? Oh, oh yes. Let me introduce you. This is Nagumi Yakushiji-san. Hello. She's one of the compatible from the year 2025. Worst case scenario, she will be piloting the Sentinel instead of you. What? I won't allow it. Piloting effectively is not possible in your condition. But number 14, Mr. Ida chose me for it. It's my Sentinel. Then you're the one who should have been in it. If you're really that possessive of it, then why didn't you fight instead of Juro? Oh, no. It doesn't matter. You'll forget this, too. Just like everything else. Yakushiji-san! Wow! Megumi being a savage! <laughs> Easy. Take your time. Do you know, know where you are? Take those when you're at the medicine. You may ex but don't worry. Answer the question. 1980. I know what you're going to say. I see. I just forgot to take... We're still on a priority. Just tell me what. There must be some sort of clue. Something that happened in 2064. Mm. Are you all right? <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need. Run away? What? I mean, I get hits. Number number fourteen is my sentinel. The Yusaka and Yakushi, all of the compatible. The coordinate they're set in, so we can't. My head, it hurts. You should get. You don't need. There must be something. <sighs> should make me feel where are you going stop following me that's not happening tell me kiss kiss ragi stop can i tell <gasps> Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? Right. Has anyone uh besides you? Well He calls himself a if I show his maybe I'm I can rather not say. Did you Do just you like tell me to run? Oh so, no. Koto's distracted. Oh, what sort of women like? him. Well I What do you do on your days off? Empty. That 
that was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. The nurse's office should have some. So cold. I don't need a drink. So sweet. I can't get enough. I can take oh. my pills without it. What seems to be the matter, young lady? I'm not a child anymore. If there's something troubling you, I can try to help if you'd like. No, thanks. Uh, I suppose it's to be expected, looking like this. <laughs> Aw, poor Hijiyama. He just wants to be loved. He calls him the one that if we don't... It's open. Good. Morimura's not here. Now, where are those pills? There's a student asleep in here. This girl. She looks familiar. were around here last time. Where are they? They were around... Where... <laughs> Yori Fuyusaka. She's one of the compatible. There's something under the pillow. An ampoule. This must be the medicine she was given. The label says NM0206. So she injected you with nanomachines. What is Morimura thinking? Why give Yori Fuyusaka nanomachines? Medication record. Maybe there's something useful in here. Yori Fuyusaka, Nano Machines Anchored, Memory Transplant, Attempt Number 7. Memory Transplant? It can't be. Ryoko Shinonome. Uh, memory Separation. Progressing. Third Phase. As with Jiro Izumi, Administering Personality Synthesis? Oh? Where's Gotokun? You didn't have permission to read those. What does this all mean? It's a necessary measure. Well, did you find the culprit? Uh, what are you planning? You're in even worse condition than I thought. Uh, you need to take your pills. Answer me. What are you doing to Yori Fuyusaka? My head. What are you doing? Maybe it's time. Shinonome-san, how are you feeling? How much can you remember? <sighs> As I suspected, you're starting to disappear. Excuse me, what? Of course. Easy. Take your... Do you know where you are? Are you alright? <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need... Answer the... 1985. I know what you... I see... I just forgot... in a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nanomachines. She wants to change both me and Yori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. Take those when your headaches start. The medicine is... You may experience... But don't worry. 
Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? I guess the two about what? You know, your... condition. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like my job is to help. Doesn't seem likely. Can I? Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was you. Like? Well, I. Don't distract. Go on. What did you do on your days off? I. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. It hurts. What, what sort of women do you like? Well, what did I. Should make me feel. Hey, Zumi kun you're all right. I'm relieved. <sighs> Not again, Senpai. What? I've already asked you to stop making fun of me. I'm Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. Kurabe? But he's Izumi kun I don't understand. I bet Renya Goto knows something about this. I'd. Do you like sp Oh, no. What? Oh, what's the Well... What do you do on your... I'd rather not say. Can you wear two weeks Oh, no. no. Chasing after Sekigahara. Oh, right. You might not know, but. But you have to capture him to fix the Sentinels. <gasps> and he's 426. Is that right? You knew? Yeah, because you flippin' told me. I don't remember that. Is Morimura doing something to you? You don't remember being in the ruined city together? A ruined city. Lock. Doesn't seem possible to force a connection. <sighs> Ryoko san. Just like I thought. I knew you'd show up here. There's nowhere left to run, 426. I'm 426? Who did you hear that from? I saw the access logs. It was you, Aisaki. The program that infected the Sentinels, it was created with 426's ID. <sighs> Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. <sighs> no! Don't move. The shift radius is off. I haven't set the input, but the shift's still being executed. Get back. I will. 
won't let you mess things up again. Ryoko-san, you need to stay out of this. No! Damn it. We shifted. And to the wrong place, too. Now there's others involved. Not good. My location's going to be tracked. Wait, what? You mean the reason why Tomi Miyako and Ogata got shifted from the wooden hallway of the old school building was because of the science room? Well, I suppose their locations are close enough, but still, that seems like an irregularly large range beyond normal. I need to delete the gate's locks. All these kids because of him. Time to end. Tell me, Kisaragi, this just wasn't your day. I've got it's time to pay for what you've done because of you he's you you're still going on about Ida I should kill you right here <laughs> then do it shoot me go on I'm serious the triggers locked I'm the registered user it won't shoot me I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. <sighs> Your condition's gotten worse. How long has it been since you've taken them? Guess I don't have much choice. I've got those pills, too. Go on. Take them. You're not gonna trick me, 426. I don't know what you've been told. But I'm not the one who infected the Sentinels. I'm not 426, Ryoko-san. We never lived too far apart. Ever since we were kids, wherever he went, I followed. My big sister, Ryoko. Don't you remember? Hey, Kun. Please, take them. This hideout isn't safe anymore. You need to take the ones outside and go back. Understand? I need to get out of here. He's not 426? Then whose fault is it? What's going on? I don't understand. Wait, I need to know. <laughs> that explains why Shinonomi was passed out over there. This event hap this event happened around the time that Tomi, Nenji, and Miwako got accidentally shifted. In the few hours that they were unconscious. Honestly, the only questionable thing here is it's a miracle that nothing came and killed them during that time. I mean, the androids are still active and out and about, even if the kaiju have already turned off. Yep. 